Hi everyone and welcome to my bathroom. This is a bit of a strange setting for me to be filming a video um, but a couple of months ago I did sort of a makeup storage, makeup collection I guess you could say and um, I've just recently organised all my skincare so I thought why not do a skincare kind of storage collection video. I thought that would be the best time to do it now when everything is kind of neat and organised. I don't have a fancy camera that focuses as I film so I'm going to have to do this on my phone for you. I'm just going to show you everything in this little kind of shelving area here which is all my skincare that I use sort of in the bathroom. So this is kind of like the top shelf and I keep my hair products and fake tan here so um, I just keep this little like tin with all my like shampoo condition and masks and stuff in and so I just pull one out whenever I go to have a shower and I've just got my lush big shampoo here at the front because that's the one I tend to use the most um, and then I've got a few like fake tans this is the Clarins facial one I use that quite a lot I don't fake tan too often even though I probably should because I am so pale but um, yeah, I really like that because it's just like a really nice natural one and it doesn't break me out. And then I've got the Saint Tropez Gradual Body and Gradual Face Tan there, which I really like as well. And then a Fake Bake Mousse and the Fake Bake 60 Minute one and just a few like Zen Tan ones behind there as well. So that shelf, it doesn't really get touched that much apart from the hair stuff. So starting on to actual skincare, this is where the majority of my like most used products go. So this is like the cleansers and makeup removers. And I've got, um, so my Bioderma Creative H2A there, which I just use first of all on like a cotton wool pad just to take off like the bulk of my makeup. And I've also just got this Estee Lauder Take It Away, which is similar, but it's a bit more moisturising. So I've been kind of like alternating between the two. If my skin needs something a bit more moisturising, I'll use that one to take off my makeup. But it's not so great for eye makeup, so I tend to just use the Bioderma anyway. And um, then I've got cleansers at the back here. So I've got my Una Brennan um, Super Facialist Tea Flower Cleanse. That's a really lovely one if you feel that you've got quite congested skin. And I've just got the Dr. Jart Bubble Foam. Just trying that out as well. And it's lovely. It works so, so well with the Clarisonic. So I've been using this a lot more because I've actually found like a really nice cleanser to use with it. So the Dr. Jart Bubble Foam is nice. It has this really foamy consistency, but it's not like in a really thick, large bubbles. It's really tiny little bubbles. It's a really nice sort of uh, foam that comes out of it. And then I've got a couple of Emma Hardy things here. So my um, Amazing Face Moringa Face Wash. So that is what I use every morning. That's the only cleanser that I use because it's so light and I don't, you don't need a lot to cleanse off your face in the morning. So I just use that one. And then I've got a tiny little um, cleansing balm, which I've pretty much used up. And then the Eve Lorme cleansing balm there as well, which is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then at the back, I've got my Lizelle. Good old faithful, always got a tub of Lizelle in there somewhere. This is just like the regular one. I got the tube nowadays because it's just a bit more economical because I go through it so much. I just buy the larger size. And I've still got the, um, the limited edition rose and lavender one left over. Um, but I haven't got much of that left. I'm trying to save it actually because I really like it and I'm not sure if you can still buy it. But uh, you probably can. I don't know. And then I've just got a toner. I don't really use toner that often but... Um, I've just got this one, so I'm trying that out, and that's the This Works Fresh Skin one. I absolutely love anything from This Works at the moment. Yeah. And then some cotton wool pads in there, and then obviously my Clarisonic. So moving down one again, and this is just the most cluttered looking shelf ever, but you should have seen it before I actually um, rearranged it all. It was just an absolute mess. So this is where I keep kind of my little added extra skincare products, and then my light moisturisers and night things. So I don't actually keep any of my morning um, products here. I keep them on my actual like dressing table um, but this is just the stuff that I use in the evening so I've got a few eye products here so I've got the Clarins makeup remover this takes off anything like the most waterproof of all mascaras and it will take it off and the Lizelle eye bright I like to use that in the morning when I've got kind of like puffy eyes and it just really soothes them and it's really great if you get kind of like dark circles as well it's just a really refreshing sort of thing to use and then I've, I've still got a bit of this chlorine I make it remover. I don't use it as much now because I really like the Clarins one, but it's nice if you've got quite sore eyes and you feel like you want something really moisturising and, and quite gentle. And then at the back I've just got a few masks. I've got the Una Brennan clay mask and an Eve Long one, which is quite similar. It's a very like um, clarifying, deep cleansing mask. And then my all-time favourite mask, which is the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. That is beautiful. A few Lush products there. I think Mask of Magna Menti and Let the Good Times Roll. I have like a love-hate relationship with Lush cleansers. I seem to love them and then never use them and then buy something else and use it for ages. So, But yeah, I really like those two. And then just good old St Ives apricot scrub. It's probably the best scrub that I've ever used, so I always buy it. And then a Sanctuary one. And I've got, <laughs> I've got the Alpha H Liquid Gold here. I know everyone raves about this, but 
I'm not sure if I'm sold on it. I've used it probably, not enough, I've used it about 10 times I guess and I just haven't seen anything, anything good and it hurts my face so I'm not sold on that yet but I will persist and I will try. So then I've just got my kind of nighttime skincare here so I don't put my morning sort of products here I tend to put them on my dressing table so I've got a few kind of overnight masks here the Dr Jart one and the Origins and then obviously it's the Lord Advanced Night Repair a little Lizelle um, skin oil there which is the super skin concentrate I've got actually a Clinique sample here which I went and got which is the turnaround concentrate which is supposed to be I suppose quite similar to the Health for H it's supposed to be very um like exfoliating you just wake up brighter skin so I'm just trying that at the moment and then I've got the Evlom eye cream, which I love, and um, the Origins High Potency Nitamins, which I'm running out of, so I need to get a new night cream. So if anyone has any recommendations, I kind of want to get the Antipodes one. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's got pear in it. Um, yeah, but then I've got my Nooks Rev de Mille Lip Balm, which is just the nicest thing to put on your lips at night. Just You wake up with the most moisturised lips. And then the La Roche-Posay Epicard Duo and Hydroluron, which are my two like sort of serums. Oh, and I've got Sweet Lip Scrub and a Benefit Lip Scrub as well. So, yeah, that's my main sort of bulk of my skincare. I tend to use more in the evening than I do in the day. Um, and then on the last shelf, this is just Darren's stuff. So, if there are any men watching, he's got some Clinique stuff, some Number 7, Nivea, Blue de Chanel, which is the nicest, nicest man smell there is. <laughs> So I'm just going to quickly show you what I use in the morning as well. So this is my kind of like morning skincare um, section. So I've got the Benefit Triple Performing Facial Emulsion and Estee Lauder Day Wear. I tend to kind of alternate between those when my skin feels a bit drier and when I don't need anything too rich. And I've got an Estee Lauder Serum there and then this little massive thing of lip balms. I can't stop buying lip balms, it's terrible. But I think the Eve Long one is my favourite at the moment. And well, a few primers, that's not really skincare. I've got the La Roche-Posay Epiclart. M, I think it says, Mattify Moisturiser, so I'm just sort of trying that out at the moment. And then Lizelle um, Light Moisturiser and obviously like SPF there from Clinique, I use that every single day. And I've got the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream, which I'm just using at the moment. It's quite nice, it's quite brightening as well, it's quite a light um, cream to use in the morning, so I really like that. So I hope you've had a fun time exploring all my skincare. It's not in the best organised way, but it does the job, so yes. Um, if there's any kind of detailed reviews that I've done on the products that I've shown, I will link them below because I didn't really go through them in detail very much. But yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!